Welcome to this uh, Easy Computer Fixes channel and this is a quick look at something and it's a tips and tricks video also at the same time for a free Microsoft Office replacement which is LibreOffice. So of course one of the things that I see as a tech guy regularly is people are in need uh, sometimes you know a word processor or a spreadsheet uh, software or you know maybe a database a database uh, piece of software like access but you know they just are home users that really rarely share anything with other users so you know they look at Microsoft Office and you know it's kind of expensive and honestly I think that 90% of the people that actually are home users don't even need to pay for Office they can you know use LibreOffice and it will probably do the job most of the time so LibreOffice available at LibreOffice.org is at version 5.3.3 and one thing I want to add here because some of you will say oh well I have OpenOffice and it's great. OpenOffice was a great piece of software also but the biggest problem with OpenOffice is that it has basically stalled in the development <clears throat> so basically it's not been updated and it even has some security flaws and because of the lack of updates kind of puts you at risk also at the same time um, and, and you know a lot of the developers that actually were working in OpenOffice are now in LibreOffice working for LibreOffice and so LibreOffice is actually updated much more now and I, I think it's you know for the free uh, office style suit it's probably now the standard for the free thing for the free uh, office suit so basically you go here you click the download button download now button as you see here you will see the version 5.3.3 it is available for Linux in 32 and 64 bits Debian and RPM it is available for Mac OS 64-bit uh, it is available uh, for Windows 64 and 32 bits so it's pretty much all platforms are covered here LibreOffice is a free piece of software of course the donation donations are accepted and if you do like it and want to help out a great cause uh, why not give a little something uh, basically once you have uh, installed it you'll have this LibreOffice uh, icon that you can click and gives you access to all the LibreOffice uh, software so writer document which is equivalent to Microsoft Word actually does open Microsoft Word um, documents also and has everything pretty much you need to create a um, you know even write your favorite book maybe a novel uh, everything you need to simply um, write a letter or whatever a document you might want to write you also have available in here a calc which is the spreadsheet or equivalent to the Excel um, software in Microsoft Office as you see here it does resemble a lot and on, once again it can open Microsoft Excel files you can actually modify you can even send a file and and somebody in Excel will be open, able to open it uh, when you save it um, you know when, when you use that save as you actually have the option to uh, save it in a Microsoft uh, Excel format that you wish to use as you see here so um, it's, it's pretty cool for that um, what else do we have of course um, impress is the equivalent of PowerPoint so you want to do presentations you just you know take a template or start you know from scratch and of course you can start right away working on on any document basically so um, it's, it's, it's pretty cool for what it is and it does the job once again pretty full and if you are looking not only at creating some but want to open um, Microsoft Office PowerPoint presentation um, remember that um, you can with this uh, software suit draw drawing is a I would say it's an equivalent to halfway between paint and power and, and um, paint and um, uh, Photoshop it's not as good as Photoshop but it's better than just paint and whatever you want to do in your um, you know piece of software 
to draw something and to even edit images if you want. So it actually works very well uh, for that. Then you've got also a equivalent. Well, this one does not have an equivalent, I believe, in um, in, in Office, like, um, or, or maybe it does inside Excel, but it's Mat Formula, which is basically um, kind of uh, turning your, you know, your your computer into uh, all sorts of um, scientific calculations, formulas, and and, and whatever it is. Uh, uh, very complete. You know, sometimes you want to draw a formula for. I don't know, uh, electrical resistance and everything. You could do that with this LibreOffice Math app. And finally, Base Database is what um, Microsoft Office has called Access. It's a database processor. So basically, you can create a database of something. Say you collect stamps. You want to do a database of all the stamps that you've got. Well, you could, with this, do a database, a full database of all stamps, you know, and by year, by country, and whatever, uh, you know, um, you want to do as a uh, database. You, you just answer the questions and start to do uh, your database, basically. And of course, you can open access uh, databases. Um, as for the compatibility with uh, Microsoft Office documents and, um, in, in, you know, that you would open, I'd say about 90%. Sometimes it might show up a little strange. There are some proprietary, um, you know, uh, features in Office that cannot be in, in LibreOffice because they have, um, you know, copyright basically. But for most people, it's actually pretty good. So LibreOffice available for free, and uh, I will be posting the link to this page, of course, LibreOffice.org, in the description below the video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.